Highness Dias and Bonjour. I am the light bringer. What the secret government has over you, more than its impressive technology, secret knowledge and unfathomable wealth, is its indivisibility. For it operates as an impenetrable unit while most human beings are focused on their most immediate personal agendas. You have been trained and programmed to think in individualistic terms, for the power knows that such is the nexus of rule. They know that as long as they can hold the human race in ego-centered consciousness, they can be assured their long-standing reign over you and there lie the sum and substance of your power struggle. They can stimulate your alienation one from the other and from the earth, your mother, with utterly insignificant classifications, polarizing you into separate religions, nations, races, and an endless array of opposing belief structures. They know how to activate the animal, to drug and addict you, dividing and isolating you from each other and desensitizing your community awareness as it suits their purpose. They are just as clever at driving you to nationalistic frenzy, creating false loyalties to the superheroes when those illusions are required. While many of you still experience yourselves in limiting ideologies and emotions that strictly regard your own lives and those of your immediate families, they view you as the masses, dissecting you into nations and opposition camps of various credos and cultures. They cultivate your sense of alienation from government, from your societies, and from each other, feeding you doomsday material and scenes of the lowest forms of human behavior through their media, the global voice. Anesthetized, people stare into their television screens, resigned to the depression of those they see starving and dying in worlds just beyond their comfort zones. Yet in successive frames, they are stimulated into feelings of envy and unworthiness at not being as fashionably underweight as the sex object model in the paid advertisement, one of the many that finances the evening news where real people are dying of hunger. We find such paradox quite a statement of the human condition. Most think in terms of being more fortunate, safer, or more worthy. Such measures only create a sense of separation from the other. It is not your destiny, Homo sapiens, to devolve into a robotic race of desensitized, insecure TV and trained creatures. Nor are the values portrayed on your screens those you intended to pursue when your souls decided to crystallize once again in Earth fields. This is not a true reflection of human potential. Human race, wake up and ascend. And yes, uh, hit that subscribe button as well and leave this video a thumbs up. Namaste. Namaskaram.